If you want to switch a socket on the Luxo mini server, it's super important to consider one thing. The mini server's relays have 10 ampere relays. So if you use a breaker with 16 amp, it could be that the socket, depending on what you plug in it, will destroy the relay. That's why I'm using a 25 ampere coupling relay. So the mini server's relay just switches a little coil in here and this 25 amp relay then switches the power to the socket. I am running a five core wire here to the sockets and depending on which color of the cable I put on the socket here, it's permanent power. Over there is permanent power as well. And here I used another core of the cable for the switched one on the coupling relay, connected a pump on it. I will make this nicely, of course. And this Gardena pump, when it has power, it simply runs. There is no pressure detection. So if you close the valve, it just runs. So it's super stupid. And I put this super simple watering on it just for testing now. And then I programmed in Loxon with a schedule block every day, 540 to 555. I'm just playing around with the times to see how much water it leaks. So it's automatically, I could say it should not work on the times. I used the linked function blocks, which I showed in another video. And I have a hand mode where I can just turn it on. You maybe hear it. So I'm just switching the power of this socket here. And that's what I meant if you put a super high load on it, which for now is super unusual, but maybe in a few years I'm just like, yeah, put permanent power on it. And then the mini service relay could burn. Schedule and schedule allowed onto the relay or the hand mode directly on the relay. I promised to do this for way too long, but finally I can sleep well again. See you in the next one.